Hey guys, Kevin Ward here with Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training. I'm still answering questions from the webcast I did today. And another question was, um, how can you show the seller how to list with you and still save money? Okay, so here's the deal, and I, I may have been in a context of talking about for sale by owners or whatever, and that is that if you can help a seller, because I mentioned in the webcast, if I can help it, talking to a seller, if I can help you net them as much money in your pocket as you can do by doing it yourself, if I can help you net the same amount of money, would you talk to me about it? Now the question is, how do you do that? Well, here's here's the one of the huge myths of real estate, and that is uh, of real estate agents, and that is that your um, your commission is an expense. Well, a commission is not an expense. A commission is a is something that provides a service of value. And let me just explain it this way. When you hire an accountant to prepare your taxes and you hire a tax planner to help you plan your tax, do your tax planning, a tax, especially if you're like self-employed or an entrepreneur, they are going to be able to save you way more money in taxes than, they're, than the cost of their services. Well, here's the deal with real estate agents. If you know how to deliver value and you know how to get the best results for the seller, which is three things. Number one, get them to the home sold for top dollar for the best amount of money, for the most amount of money, in the best amount of time with the least amount of hassle. Okay, That's what you deliver. The most amount of money, best amount of time, least amount of hassle. And your fee will pay for itself because you can literally, the, the added value that you're going to get both in saved in time, hassle, and most importantly in dollars and cents is going to pay for itself. Now, let's just look at it purely from an economic standpoint. If they're paying a 6% commission, isn't that a bigger expense in terms of what they're going to net in their bottom line? It can be, but typically it is not. And here's why. Typically, if a for sale by owner is selling it, most all of them will will concede three percent to a buyer's agent that brings them a buyer. I'm not listed. I'm for sale by owner. You bring me a buyer, I'll pay you three percent. Okay. Now, whatever it is, that's I'm just going to use that because that's a standard traditional number. And if they don't have an agent involved at all, they'll usually concede at least that three percent easily to the buyer as a discount because there's no commissions. Okay, I can sell it for less because I don't have to pay a commission. That's what for sale by owners say all the time. So they've already conceded 3%. That's just in their brain. Why? Because they're doing it yourself. It's an off-market sell. Now, here's what that means. How can I then get extra money for them? Well, one is the power of third-party negotiating. So you've got third-party negotiating. And that is whenever you have a third-party negotiating on your behalf, if they're skilled, they can always get you a better result. It's why professional athletes, it's why uh, celebrities, they don't negotiate their own contracts. They have an agent that negotiates for them. Why? It's why um, uh, there are third party negotiators in all kinds of business, in, in uh, po politics. Third party negotiators can get better results because they're not emotionally attached and they're more knowledge, knowledgeable and skilled. If you're a skilled negotiator as a real estate agent, and that's, a, that's, that's a, the big if because most agents are not, the added value is once you understand the power and skills of good negotiating and how to help a seller get better results, then you're going to give them the value of third party uh, of third party negotiating, which is going to almost always get them a better financial result, more money in their pocket. You're going to get them better terms of price. But here's the biggest thing about what an agent can do that a for sale by owner, for example, can't do in terms of with a commission. The biggest thing is there's three things. Number one is you're going to give them more or better exposure. Okay, you're able to get the property exposed where all the qualified buyers are out there, where they're actually looking. Because most qualified buyers that are highly motivated and willing to pay full market value for a house, they're talking, they're working with an agent, and the and every time the agent's going to go to the MLS to the multiple listing service to get that. To, to find the properties. So if they're marketing as a for sale by owner, they're marketing, most of the places they market are not where most of the highly qualified, highly motivated buyers ever look. So what happens is because there's, they, they have fewer eyeballs, fewer buyers, so there's less exposure as a for sale by owner. That means there's less qualified buyers and the buyers that tend to go after for sale by owners tend to be discount buyers. They're looking for a steal, they're looking for a deal. Because why? Because the seller's not having to pay commission, so I can get the house for cheaper. So now, you've also got working against you as a for sale by owner, you've got the fact that you're now getting, dealing with the bottom dwellers, the bargain hunters who are looking for a steal. And they're thinking they can take it from you, so whatever discount, you're not having to pay in commissions, you're having to pay it as a discount on the sale of your house. Okay, more exposure, and what that means is more exposure means more buyers. Now what more buyers means is number three, is more demand 
and more demand, what happens in a market where there's higher demand, low supply, high demand? When you raise the demand for something, you get more money. There's always more value. When there's high demand for something, it's always a, a, demands a premium in value. So if there's more demand for a house, that's why oceanfront real estate sells for more. There's more demand for it. It's limited, there's less supply, more demand, people are willing to pay more because they want it more. Okay? So whenever they're doing it themselves, there's fewer, less exposure, fewer buyers, less demand. So they typically look in any in any product, in any commodity, the best way to get the maximum value is to get the maximum exposure to the best buyers. The more exposure you get, the, the more value you're going to get because there's more demand, so you're going to always get the best price. When, if I can show your house to, if you're, one buyer is looking at your house or 10 buyers looking at your house versus 100 buyers, if i got 100 buyers, the chances are more likely in that 100 I'm going to have somebody willing to pay more for the house. And all you've got to justify is 3%. Because 3% they've already conceded. And the reality is most of the time, that is a number that is easy to deliver. I've seen it over and over again. The biggest objection, the biggest problem that real estate agents have with it is when they have no skills and they don't understand that, they think they are an expense. And they're trying to, in a sense, trick the for sale by owners by using scripts or whatever to get them to list. Okay, and they talk about legal liability and all that, which all matters, but they're, they're thinking that they are an expense and not rather than an investment for on behalf of the seller. Now, here's the other thing, and this is one of the reasons I love luxury real estate. High-end homeowners understand the value of hiring professionals for professional services, and they're used to paying attorneys and used to pay. They're not do-it-yourselfers. When they need a service done, they don't clean their own house. They hire good people. They're, they're, when they need their taxes done, their finances handled, they have an accountant. They're used to paying great money investing for services and expertise and that's what you've got to understand is believe and know that you've got the expertise if you don't if you don't have it develop it get coached get the skills get the systems get the knowledge get the confidence so you can do all that and the and the reality is you you as a real estate agent if you're skilled can get them a better result. Okay, that's that's part of what I train in my coaching. Uh, if you like this, if this video has helped you, share it, like it, share it, and if I can help with anything else, reach out to me, Kevin at YesMasters.com. We'll talk soon.